Do you remember me? You do, yeah, your Uncle Thorne. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? We're Seth and Megan, and we are finally caught up with all of our videos. We are posting now in real time. I feel the same way. It has felt like every day I am just sitting, editing, and editing, and editing. I feel like that's all I've done is edit like 60,000 videos from Utah. But we're caught up. We are getting in the car right now. It is 625 on a Tuesday evening. Um, and if you've been paying attention to the end of the of our videos, my best friend Florin, the guy who officiated our wedding, <laughs> the person that I've known for way too long, is uh, flying in from Virginia. I think he's been sitting in airports for like the last 48 hours trying to get here. And uh, let's go pick him up. Okay, so on our way to the airport, we'd figured that we'd kind of ask each other some questions so you can get to know us a little bit better. So I'm gonna start by asking Seth um, how old he is and where he was born and where did he grow up? So I think I'm 28. Um, I'll be 29 in August. And I was born in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And I grew up um, in a town called Sangerville, Virginia. It's a little uh, Appalachian town on the western side of Virginia. And uh, it has a population of like maybe 150 people. And I'm going to answer the questions as well. So I just turned 26. Um, if you watched one of our previous videos, you would know that I was born over in Germany. My dad was in the military. And so I grew up um, in a couple different places. I was born there, and then we were stationed in California somewhere, and then they moved to Yorktown, Virginia, when I was about five years old. So I pretty much grew up in Virginia, I would say I'm from Virginia, even though um, I did kind of live a couple of different places. So Seth, how did we meet? So I don't feel like it's very um, typical anymore at this current time but we actually met on tinder of all places um and we actually reached out to tinder and they really didn't seem to care they weren't too impressed that we met on tinder and we actually got married and we're still together <laughs> so we met on tinder um actually the town that i was a police officer in megan uh, went to college in we had never met each other it wasn't until Megan moved to the city that uh, Florin, the guy we're going to pick up, that he lives in. And so she was working there, she was living there, and um, that's when we met. And we had our first date in Charlottesville, and it got ruined because <laughs> <laughs> the place we wanted to go, I uh, didn't think to get a reservation, so it was like an hour and a half wait. So we ended up going to this little burger joint and we watched a couple Basadas make out for like two <laughs> hours straight. And we were very uncomfortable. <laughs> were very uncomfortable. Let's just say that. <laughs> and so after that, as they say, the rest is history. Um, we moved in together pretty quick after. And uh, then we ended up getting our own place in Stanton. Got Oliver. We got our cat. We were in Stanton for about two years and then we started doing this travel thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, go tender. <laughs> So next question is, what would be your dream vacation? So I have two. Um, my first one has been a, a dream of mine since I was a kid. I've always wanted to go to the Amazon and I've always wanted to ride a riverboat like over a month, like do a month trip up the Amazon. Uh, mainly just because I am incredibly fascinated with tribal life and um, all of the natural medicines like um, ayahuasca and ceremonies like that that come out of the Amazon so that's one that's always we will get there one day <laughs> I don't care if I'm 70 years old I will go to the Amazon and I will ride a riverboat 
Um, the other one for me would be Okinawa. Uh, I started martial arts at like eight years old and I ended up owning my own martial arts gym for about eight years. And I've traveled all over um, on sponsored, you know, teams, ran my own team, did, you know, the whole thing. And uh, just to go to Okinawa and train with some of the guys that are in my martial arts styles lineage would that would be an amazing vacation it would be a working vacation <laughs> but it would be an amazing vacation and if anybody knows me well enough they know what my dream vacation is I've wanted to go here for a very long time he knows it's Thailand I've wanted to go there for forever for a couple reasons. One is they have like the world's most beautiful beaches and the beach is definitely my favorite place to be. And they have whale sharks. It's one of the few places in the world where you can swim with the whale sharks. And so I definitely want to go there for those two reasons. We're going to get there soon. I feel it. We're going. <laughs> so Seth, how many tattoos do you have? Um. So I have one on my foot. Uh, that was the first one I got. I got it when I was 18. It says faith across the top of my foot. And if you're looking at getting a tattoo, do not get one on your foot because it hurts. Um, I've got one on my finger. I've got a cross. I've got three stripes. I've got the prayer hands. And then on the other side, I've got the, um, the hand of David touching the hand of God from the Sistine Chapel. So one, two, three, four. I've got five. And um, I'm planning left arm to be full sleeve, right arm to be either maybe half sleeve or three quarter sleeve, or maybe I'll just turn it into a full sleeve. I don't know. But uh, that's all I've got for now, and uh, definitely more to come. And I just have one. It's on my like rib cage area, and it's actually in my grandmother's handwriting. It says, have courage and be kind. I almost forgot for a second. I feel like a lot of times you have stuff like a tattoo and you're like, wait, what does it say again? Especially because I don't really see it that often. But Until you start tattooing your hands, I've noticed that I notice this one like every day because you look at your hands a lot and I forget it's there until I look down. But every day it's like, you know, you forget about your feet and you forget about arms. But I feel like hands is one that... I don't know, I just haven't forgotten that I have that one. So our last question is going to be, what is something that the viewers of this channel don't know about us? So, if you follow us on Instagram, you might have caught on to this. Um, but I actually have a diagnosis of OCD, so Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. Um, generalized anxiety disorder and major depressive disorder and so that's something that I live with daily and it's something that I try to incorporate in some other social media channels that I run um, but with this channel I'd like to start bringing more light to that in order to bring awareness to mental health because it is such a huge issue not only in this country but in the world and I think that once somewhat of a platform is established, you need to start using that for good. And um, we are super, super thankful to have 180 subscribers. Like, we never really thought that this channel would take off, but it seems to be that people are liking what we're posting, and so therefore, Hopefully we can start spreading some positivity to those out there. And something that people might not know about me is while I do love nursing and that is a great job, I always thought it would be super cool to like go to Africa and work on like an animal sanctuary, an elephant sanctuary, um, something like that. I don't know, working with the animals too. I think that would be like my second passion. Um, besides, you know, being a nurse and just traveling the world. Like, I think it'd be super cool just, you know, travel the world full time with our cats somehow, make that work. But <laughs> that would be, that would be really awesome. Okay. So thank you for playing. 
We are here to pick up Floor now, and I'm gonna show you why I hate the Phoenix Airport. Look at this. There's this like track that you have to follow, and you can't, you can't stop. They, they won't allow stopping. The last time, Megan was like, I'll be there in three minutes. So I try to get in a spot so we can load the car. And this lady comes up and starts yelling at me, telling me that I can't park, I have to circle. So there's a circle lane that just circles the building constantly. And you have to just make laps. That's all you can do. If you're actively loading, sure, that's fine. Otherwise, all you can do is drive circles. So we just picked up Florin from the airport. How was your flight? It was long, but it was good. It was good. Did you have any uh, issues with maybe people sitting in your seats? Yeah, but I didn't feel like being that guy today, so I just let it go. <laughs> so we are headed back. We're going to uh, unpack, make some dinner, and uh, I don't know what we're going to do tonight. So we're finally back at the place. And here's the moment that uh, Florin has been waiting for. Uh, here, you remember me? He's in there, your Uncle Florin. Yeah, good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Well, you've learned a little bit about us. The pickup is complete. Florin is here with us. Make sure to use the link in the description below. Go follow his channel, Following Florin. He's gonna have some videos up from his time here in Arizona. We have a lot planned for this week, so there's gonna be lots of videos coming out this week, probably more than normal. Um, but if you liked today's video and you liked what you learned about us and you're excited to see more things with Florin, <laughs> make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we will see you probably tomorrow.